North Carolina is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield three minutes to the distinguished gentlewoman from Louisiana, Dr. Letlow. The distinguished woman from Louisiana is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to join my voice with millions of American parents as the House considers H.R. 5, the Parents' Bill of Rights Act. H.R. 5 is about one simple and fundamental principle. Parents should always have a seat at the table when it comes to their child's education. We believe that learning is a partnership between a family and their child's teachers. This bill is the vehicle by which we can put parents and educators together at the same table to have a productive dialogue. This bill is not complex or complicated, nor should it be partisan or polarizing. And contrary to what you may hear from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, it is not an attack on our hardworking teachers who will always be the heroes in my eyes. It is not an attempt to have Congress dictate their curriculum or determine the books in the library. Instead, this bill aims to bring more transparency and accountability to education, allowing parents to be informed, and when they have questions and concerns, to lawfully bring them to their local school boards. Over the past two years, we've seen too many instances where rather than opening their doors to welcome parents in as partners, some schools instead slammed them shut and said that government bureaucrats know what's best for our children. Parents across this country have overwhelmingly spoken out that they have had enough. They want a seat at the table because at the end of the day, these are our children, not the government's. Mr. Speaker, I worked in education before I came to Congress, and I'm also a mom. I've seen firsthand how when you educate a child, you give them a future. We know that when parents are involved, it is the students who succeed. We also know that when a family is shut out of their child's education, it will lead to disastrous results. Mr. Speaker, let us give parents that voice in the learning process. Let schools open the doors and welcome them in as partners. And let us work together to build a brighter future for America's children. Thank you, I yield back. The gentlewoman reserves, the gentleman from Virginia.